Welcome! In this video, I will show you how to create a new task in the Task Manager module. As a refresher, tasks are any processes that can be scheduled to run automatically. With that in mind, in the Task Manager module, go into Tasks. You will see I already have three tasks. I'll now add a new one in the upper right corner. Every new task has three required fields. The first is the task identification name. Mine will be called Task Manager SSH Act. Next, you have to choose an environment and a system. Singa Segura application will use these fields for segmentation purposes, and you can change their values in the system parameters. In this example, I'll be in a lab environment within the Singasegura system. If you want, you can also add tags that help you identify this task. I'll add SSH and apt. This bottom part is also very important because it brings the template for task execution. Basically, you have to choose the technology employed, that is, the plugin and template. The template is what tells the platform what this task is supposed to do to the target device. I'll choose the SSH plugin, though you see there are many options. You can create your own template or choose to use one of Sensegura's default templates. Choose what's best for you. I'll use one of the default templates. The next step is important if your use case requires the use of variables while running this particular task. This is not my case, but this is a valid option and you can use it at any time according to your task requirements. Under Credential for Execution, please choose the credential that must be used for authentication in the target device so that Singasegura can access it successfully and run the task. You can either choose a previously registered credential or add the name of a credential that can be authenticated in the target device. I'll use a previously registered one. Done. On the second tab, all we have to do is add the list of devices where this task will be run. This means you can run a single task on multiple devices. I'll add two devices. But don't forget that the task can only be run in these devices if authenticated by the credential we added in the first tab. Let's save our changes. And now we have successfully created a new task. Thank you for watching this video.